second part in this playlist uh, which talks about uh, how to effectively use Crick Sheets uh, readme file and how to process that and uh, use it uh, to do more analysis and kind of uh, understand more about the structure of the readme file itself. So in the last uh, video, which is the first part, we saw about how to download data from Crick Sheet and how to unzip those files on Google Colab. So this is a continuation video of the same and uh, we're going to see more about uh, the readme file where uh, I left out the first video there. So uh, this is that readme file I was talking about just as a refresher to all the audience again. So this has a lot of text uh, information and uh, I'm interested only in getting uh, the date of the game and the Crick Sheet match ID and uh, between who the match was played. So how do I go about doing that? We go back to our collab which we saw earlier and uh, so we left at this step where uh, we were using the Linux commands to kind of unzip and have the file stored on the file system. Now, the, we, we continue with the script again. Um, so I'm just going to use Pandas read CSV functionality. Now, this is basically uh, helpful to read of any text file. In this case, the readme is a text file. So I'm just going to use that. And there's an argument called the separator, which is basically the new line character. And I'm just going to name the columns as matches. So I'm just going to execute this and you'll see that whatever we are seeing in the test uh, test match readme has been stored as some kind of a table. This is a very, very messy table. Uh, we need to clean this table so that we get the exact uh, right kind of information about each of the test matches. So I have seen this uh, data here manually. So there seems to be a split which is happening on the uh, hyphen character. So what I'm going to do is just split this, uh, split each of these rows inside this table uh, on the hyphen character. So that's the second part uh, here. I'm just going to use this uh, matches column, which is this column, and I'm just going to split that on that hyphen, and I'm just going to combine, uh, make that into a panda series. So this is just a command which will help you to organize the rows. Now you can see that this is pretty much made it even more messier. It is creating a lot of different uh, columns because uh, there is so much of lines which have been written on that. Now, the good thing about this is the number of rows is the same, meaning that somewhere down the line, uh, the data has been split very neatly uh, based on this. So we just need to get to this line 100 where we will start seeing the information about each of the matches. So the way to do that is basically we drop all the uh, remaining columns which have been split. So we can see that uh, when you split along this, you'll get about eight columns which are split on the hyphen. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is a term. So we just need the first eight columns of this table. So that's what I'm going to do. Just bear with me for a while. And I'm just going to select the first eight columns and drop out all the remaining ones which have some blank values like these. This is like so many blanks are there. Now, when I do that, you can see it's already become much more neater than what we desired there. So you can see that it's in some kind of information is starting to appear and we still have some kind of blank rows uh, which we can delete using the next command, which is basically uh, just going to remove anything which is blank. And now we get a very neat kind of a table, uh, which is telling us all the information about the 665 matches that we downloaded. So that's the way to go about cleaning the readme file. Uh, just do uh, some more modifications on top, like resetting the index and making it neater and uh, adding the column names. So I'm just going to add a few column names on top, uh, just naming them as year, month, day, uh, and the format uh, is a test match and this is an international game, etc. So, uh, and I'm particularly interested in mainly the Crick Sheet ID, which is basically referring back to the file name uh, inside this. So 1255829, let's inspect the contents of that file. Uh, that will be a good uh, activity to do so. Uh, so let's take a look at the folder name. Uh, we have the folder name, which is the test underscore mail dot CSV uh, two. So we're just going to use os.path.join folder name and uh, uh, this 
particular name that csv and uh, we're just going to use pandas read csv on top of that let's try doing this and hopefully we get the output there yes there we go uh, so we get the information about the latest one two five five eight two nine game which is the sri lanka bangladesh test match which happened very recently so you can see this is pretty much similar to what we saw in the last time uh, i'm just going to continue doing some more processing on top uh, of this quick sheet uh, data frame I'm just going to combine these three fields back again into a, a, some kind of date so that i can combine that in the next part of the video uh, where i'll be showing about how you can use this uh, use whatever you've seen in the two parts so far and combine that with a uh, ball by ball match information for a particular player so i'm just going to go ahead and run these commands uh, these are just warnings you don't need to be worry too much about that and then just going to run this again uh, there you go you get a pretty neat format from the readme file um, and in the next video i'll talk about how you can uh, use this use this particular table to extract more data about a particular player so let's take an example of uh, uh, virat kohli's uh, virat kohli's games so these this is uh, this is basically an url which is giving you all the test matches which uh, kohli has played and now if i want to get uh, the test matches uh, uh, the list of test matches from this table of which kohli was involved how do i go about doing that and how do i collect all that data and make it something which is there at the end of this file which is that uh, 13,000 rows which I showed at the start of the video in the last section. So stay tuned for that video which is going to come up uh, pretty soon. I'm going to be uploading that in uh, a couple of days. So until then uh, do stay home and stay safe uh, and uh, thank you for watching the second part of this and uh, do like share and subscribe to Cricket X Data and hope I can bring you more content on the same lines. Thank you.